Would you discuss the union of wisdom and the supernatural? Yeah, I love both subjects. <laughs> I love <laughs> totally. those. Wisdom is supernatural. Mm -hmm. In the in scripture, wisdom. How much time do we have? Wisdom. I think we have about five minutes or five so. Five minutes. Wisdom is. Wisdom is is emotional in scripture. Mm -hmm. A lot of people look at wisdom as this stoic thing, almost like Spock on Star Trek, yep. you know, this emotionless expression. It's not. In, in Proverbs 8, wisdom is personified. In 1 Corinthians 1, wisdom is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, there's nothing more supernatural than Jesus. <laughs> he is our wisdom. Personified in, in Proverbs 8, it says, Wisdom rejoices in the sons of men. Wisdom is the celebratory expression of God's framework, how he works. It's the celebratory response of God towards his creation. Yeah. Stunning. And it says wisdom was there uh, when God created everything. Yeah. It's wisdom that helped all the planets to stay in tension and in balance and all of creation from the water and the oxygen created in the leaves and the mm -hmm. sun rays and everything that's a part of this amazing system, it was all designed by wisdom. Yeah. And it's all supernatural. I half jokingly but, it, but true make this statement that in our world there's natural and supernatural but in God's world there's only natural. Mm -hmm because it's all natural, yeah. whether he's getting rid of cancer or he's causing a plant to grow or a salmon to return upstream. It's all, it's all his natural world. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the point, is the point is we make a distinction that he doesn't make. It's all yeah. his world. So um, when, I, when I see the role of wisdom, to me it is, it is supernatural and my exhortation to our church family and, and where I travel is that this is a season where we've really got to cry out for supernatural wisdom. Yeah. Because this is where, if we have a vision for the cities that we live in, for their transformation, for the businesses that we're involved in, these schools that our children attend, you know, uh, uh, governments, uh, uh, industries, whatever it might be, if we really have vision for these things to be transformed, it's going to be transformed by wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom yeah. is the absolute heartbeat of God. And let me just say what I believe to be prophetic. I believe the life of Solomon and his approach to wisdom is going to be one of the things we'll draw from the most in the next five years. Yeah. And I think it will position us to really be a people with answers you know, for some of the big dilemmas. Yeah. And it, to me, it doesn't matter if it's the ozone layer or if mm -hmm. it's the flow of traffic in some city around some industry. Yeah. I mean, it's all stuff that wisdom has answers for. So wisdom touches every aspect of life. Everything. So that's why, as far as uh, solutions, Mar Marilla would, would just with us, and I love you, said this is the season of original thinking. Yes. And it, it, it was tapping into that, and so... <coughs> it, 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 there's, some, there's something else that I see, wisdom. Wisdom is, is actually prophetic in nature. Mm -hmm. Where in natural understanding, let's just take this, this uh, cushion. Natural understanding looks at the cushion, sees what it is. It's soft, it's made of leather, it's this and that. What wisdom does is wisdom can look in past the obvious and see the coils, the springs, the wood, the framework. Sees beyond the obvious mm -hmm. skin of a matter, of a subject, of an issue, and going to see the inner workings. Yeah. That's why wisdom has a prophetic nature to it, because it sees beyond the obvious. Yeah. It understands a problem. It understands relational conflicts. It goes beyond the argument between two people yeah. and goes into, into the makeup of these two individuals. Uh, the looks into a business, why this is failing, why this is succeeding, yeah. and gains an understanding because it can see past the obvious. Yeah. And so it has that supernatural element to it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think we've really got to be crying out, God, We've got to have wisdom for this day, for this hour, because yeah. we want to be people with answers. Yeah, my favorite verse in that Proverbs 8 is, I, with them is talking, it says, I was beside him, which was God, yeah. as a master craftsman. Uh, yeah. And it's just that, that uh, yeah. it just kind of 
the whole nails creator. It, yeah, yeah. It nails it on the, yeah. on the head, yeah. Perfect. That's good. Super.